Oh, Kawhi. Oh, Kawhi. Oh, Kalai. Somehow, in the back of my mind, I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen to Kawhi. When all else fails, you know what? I can't even say that. When there's a will, there's a way. That's what I'm going to say to this. I just knew that Kawhi Leonard wasn't going to uh, last the test of time being on this team. Before they even do the exhibition, exhibition, exhibition with the Canadian team, he bows out. Now to be replaced with Derek White, which is not a bad pick, bad pick of any sort. Um, I was thinking somebody, another superstar, but I guess they probably already went to the channels of who he's going to invite and. He said, why not Derek White? I think Derek White may have been on one of these selected teams or even practiced with Team USA in the past. So that was probably the reason why. Uh, defensively, they probably have gotten better, but they lose some offense because now Kawhi ain't going to be playing. Honestly, you guys, some of you guys already might know how I feel about this team. I said it when it was first announced that I hope they lose simply because of, you know, one person on the team. I can't stand that motherfucker. But, um, uh, I'm hearing things of this team is on par with the dream team and possibly better than the redeem team and then the team in 2012. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Y'all going too far. Y'all, see, media, the media goes way too far with these things they always want to say somebody's better than this before they even actually do something this team hasn't even played a game yet and you guys are already saying that you got a freaking basically i'm rounding it off a 40 year old lebron james uh what, what how old kd gonna be in september because i know his birthday at the end of september ain't he gonna be like 36 or something like that and they got a 36 year old uh stephen curry all right, you got three old coots in terms of basketball. Young men still in terms of worldly, but three old men when it comes to basketball. And then you got, well, not Kawhi anymore, but Derek White, I think he's just got recently, I mean, recently turned 30. Eh, 30 is still young. But now you got Anthony Davis, injury prone. We'll see what happens with him. You got... Drew Holiday, he's my age. Still very valuable, as you can see in the playoffs. Uh, now you got Joel B, who was basically limping around in the playoffs on one knee. And then everyone else behind it, I think it's like, it like uh, Devin Booker, Anthony uh, Edwards. Who else is on this team? Bam out of bottle. Uh, who else? I can't think of who else is the time. I'm trying to think of the top of my head right now. I said Drew Holiday already. Did I pretty much round up the rest of this team already? Oh, Jason Tatum. Then you got Jason Tatum. Yeah, it may look good on paper. What are they going to do with the upgraded, with these upgraded world teams? I don't even think Team USA is like ranked high when it comes to like all the teams in the FIBA. So. They got their work cut off for them. This ain't going to be no easy walk in the park, which some of these people keep thinking. It wasn't an easy walk in the park the last time they played. It hasn't been easy. I think the last time it's really been easy for Team USA might have been 2016. So it ain't going to be no easy walk in the park. And this is LeBron James' first time being in the Olympics since 2012, ain't it? When there was a Dwayne Wade, a Carmelo Anthony. And a Kobe Bryant, which I think they need someone like a Carmelo Anthony or Kobe Bryant because they don't have that type of mentality on this team. Sorry to admit it to y'all, to your little stands and other fans out there. there. Ain't no type of freaking mama mentality on this team. So they already downgraded with that. Not having, uh, I ain't saying necessary Kobe, but somebody who can play like that. Who can just go out there and score and ain't scared of nothing. Got no restrictions for him. Nothing. So... And then they got LeBron playing point guard. It's like, what are we doing? 
what are we doing? We got all these young cats. Well, then again, I can't say we have all these young cats coming up because half of these young cats coming up now are Canadians and belonging to different countries now. I keep thinking about the Shake Gilders and Jamal Murray, but they're Canadian. So, I don't know. They got their work cut out for them. I don't think this is going to be easy walking the park at all. I'm sitting here trying to move and everybody wants to park in the freaking place I need to freaking move the moving truck in. Oh my goodness. People are so, well, whatever. People are self-aware. Not self-aware these days of their surroundings. They just do whatever. They could be a shark right in front of them in the water. They sitting there taking an Instagram picture. But anyways, um, yeah, this thing got their work cut off for them. They really do. As much as people think it's going to be easy. But we shall see what happens. We shall see. I think what this qualifies when they lose two games or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, this is actually um you know, LeBron's chance to prove himself, you know. You know, because um they try to fix their lips. Shannon Short tried to fix his lips and say the Redeem team was ran by LeBron, knowing damn well if you watch that documentary on the Redeem team, they had to get the services of one Kobe Bean Bryant. Because LeBron had, had a chance in 2004. And you see how that turned out. Well, he was still young. Nope, 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 no excuses. Supposed to be the GOAT. No excuses. No excuses. But anyways... Should be entertaining. I think the first game is today. Exhibition with um, Canada. 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 So anyways, uh, back to moving. I'll see y'all later.